We're at the Buildex Construction and Design Show. We're going to talk to a company called One Source Energy about using wind as a way to supplement your business's power. Hi, Richard. Hi there. You're the managing partner with One Source Energy? Yes. And so, what are you guys doing? People, businesses, it's viable to think that they can use these supplemental energy sources to power their business. Absolutely. They're always looking for ways on how to cap their monthly expenses. Sure. And because costs just keep going up. And they also want to be do their part and to be green. Absolutely. And so this is one opportunity for them, one way yeah. for them to green up their building and to save costs. So we're talking about, in this particular case, there's a number of ways to do it, but we're going to focus on wind. Uh, so you can actually put, what would it be called, a windmill? <laughs> no, not really a wind. This no, is no. actually called a vertical axis wind turbine. Okay. And, vertical uh, access wind turbine. The old style that you see all over the place, those yep. are horizontal access wind turbines. Oh, I see, okay. You couldn't put them on a roof of a building. Because they weigh too much? or They weigh too much, okay. their blades are too big, sure. or they're too noisy, too much vibration. Okay. Uh, these ones, you can put them right on your roof. Interesting. And uh, in fact, Jay Leno has one on the roof of his car garage. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so um, how realistic is for uh, companies you know, throughout Canada, do you have to live in a real windy city to take advantage of, of this or how does, how does that work? Well, of course, it helps the windier it is. Sure. If you're in a place that uh, has no wind, well, this may not work for you. Sure. But if you're in a place anywhere along the prairies or in, uh, you know, on the island of BC, uh, there's a lot of wind. Now, is, there a, is there a challenge uh, to getting the permit to have this kind of thing, or is it something that businesses, especially if they own the building, can pretty much go ahead and do on their own? In most areas, yeah. your business can do uh, what they want if they own the building. Okay. Uh, because most municipalities want green, sustainable buildings Absolutely. in their area. And this is definitely that, that thing. Absolutely. So let me ask you, um, what, what is it that you can expect to get from a company? Like these costs uh, at the small home or business range, about $5,000 to put in? These are about fifteen thousand. About fifteen thousand dollars to put in, yes. and then and then the larger versions for big businesses. They're fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Okay. Yeah. So then, uh, to recoup those costs, what are, what is a business looking at over time? You're looking at for a smaller one here. You're looking at a roughly just under five years. Yeah. And for a larger one, you're looking at uh, anywhere. Depends on where they are. Sure. They could be anywhere from five to ten years. Five to ten years. And so there's two things to consider. One is you're doing your part. Uh, in terms of helping the environment and, and pulling another energy source which otherwise wouldn't have existed. Exactly. And the second part is you're actually over time turning this into a way to save your company money. Exactly. Awesome. And if you're a, if you're a company that sells to the general public, yep. a lot of people are looking to buy from companies yep. that they perceive are green. Okay. So not only are you saving the money, Absolutely. but you've got a PR advantage over your competition because Basically, you're you put one big step forward in terms of save, helping the environment. Absolutely. Thank you very much. That's Rick Richards yeah. from One Source Energy, uh, helping companies save money and ultimately help the environment.